What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel Castor's Kicks once again. Appreciate y'all for stopping in and checking out the channel. Happy Halloween to y'all. Hopefully y'all's Halloween is going good. Hopefully maybe you went to a costume party or some Halloween party. Or if you have trick-or-treaters coming, hopefully you have some good candy for them. Uh, hopefully just overall y'all Halloween is going well. Now today if you saw my previous video, I did cover the Halloween dunks in that video. This video will be over the Halloween Air Force One for this year, which... It's pretty interesting. I'm curious to see what people's thoughts are between the Dunk and the Air Force One and which one they like better. Of course, we can we can talk about that a little bit later in this video. But starting off, just give me a quick 360 over the Air Force One for this year. Now, unlike the Halloween Dunk, this one is in red and black. If you saw the Dunk video, it is green and black, basically. Uh, but similar quality or similar material on this shoe compared to the dunks if you watched the video like i mentioned uh both have cracked leather on them which i feel like it's just have been a theme with some jordans and nike shoes the past couple years that cracked leather some people like it some people don't it really just kind of depends on what is your style uh, with these shoes but we're gonna go ahead and jump to the box first before we jump into the shoe now of course this is just a regular air force one box you see air force one on the top of the lid there but all black box no special box with these and it's a quick 360 like I mentioned just all black box now going to the label the label reads Air Force One Retro HWNQS the colorway on here is black black and crimson this is a size 7 in men's which I tried to get my size but by the time I got on the site or got on sneakers and tried to get them most of the big sizes were sold out so I just went and got a smaller size to do a review on uh, like I mentioned I did cop these off the sneakers up I believe retail price was 130 on these uh, the, like I said earlier, the smaller sizes did sit and then they ended up doing a restock like 30 minutes after the drop had happened But by that point I had already bought the shoe and it had been confirmed So I couldn't go in and cancel and try to get a bigger size. So it is what it is I, I just won't have them in my size not gonna be upset uh, now going to the paper You do have a textured white paper with these which is a little bit different than what we normally get with the papers But you know just another thing and then you do have the YDM sticker inside the box as well so just be aware if you're, if you're purchasing these from somebody, how the box looks and what it comes with. Now, jumping back to the shoe, once again, this is the Air Force One Halloween for this year. Let's give y'all give another 360 on this shoe, and then we can jump into it. There's the outsole right there, and then a top-down view right there. Now, going to the outsole, you do have an all-black outsole Nike logo in the middle of the outsole as well. And then same with the midsole, all black midsole, and that does wrap all the way around the shoe. And then going to the upper, now like I, like I said earlier, you do have the cracked material on here, or the cracked leather on here. Uh, so it is in that crimson colorway, that, but that entire upper is that same crimson colorway. Now when it comes to the quality of the leather on here, in my opinion, I think it's pretty good. I think they did a good job with the leather on here. And I felt the same way with the Dunks. I think both shoes they did really good with just having decent material on these shoes or good material on these shoes for people that are interested in them and may want them. Now, these aren't going to be for everybody, of course. It's just, it's some, like, the biggest thing on here is, is the skull on the toe box, which, like I mentioned, is not going to be everybody's style. Not everybody's going to like it. It just kind of depends on how you're feeling about them. Like if you want to wear them or you're just like, yeah, that's not for me. And of course, if you want to wear them like outside of October or if you strictly wear Halloween shoes during that month of time, it really is just kind of up to you and, and how you are with your shoes. Uh, but like I mentioned, these do come with the skull. Same with the dunks. Uh, and the skull is a 3D skull. It is embossed in the shoe. So you can see that it comes up off the toe box there. Uh, how do I feel about the skull in the shoe? It's not terrible. Like first, at first look at it, it does look a little weird. I think it could have done better, maybe like on the back of the shoe, maybe on the back of the ankle here, and done something like that. But I understand it probably would have been super small there. So it's on the toe box. You can't really do anything about it. But if you do have these or you're interested in them, let me know how y'all feel about the skull on the toe box. Now jumping to the Nike swooshes, you do have Nike or black Nike swoosh on here. That's on both sides. And same as the skull, the Nike swoosh is in that 3D and balls in here. So it does have, you can rub your finger on it and feel it. Give you all that sideways look so you can see that it's popping out. Uh, but just another difference with this shoe that they did compared to previous shoes where you have like that flat Nike swoosh on these. Another one that I like, I'm not really tripping too much about the swoosh, the swoosh on here. I think it gives it that own unique touch uh, with these Halloween shoes. Now going to the angle tab, you do have 
Nike Air stitched on the back here. So you do see that there. And then jumping to the laces, you do have black laces with these. I don't believe they come with any additional laces. And then you have the black Air Force One tag right here on the bottom of the laces. Now going to the tongue, you do have a that cracked tongue, same as you have, same as the material on the rest of the shoe. Uh, the cracked tongue on here is in that crimson color. You do see a piece of it coming above the laces here. And then on the tongue tag, it is a black tongue tag with Nike Air written on there. Now going to the inside of the shoe, you do have a what looks like skull in like a black insole with red skulls on there. You do have a size sticker on here as well. Now this insole is similar to the dunk insole. It's just the dunks have green skulls. These have red skulls. Uh, and then of course a paper shoe tree with these as well. If I could get it out. Yeah, paper shoe tree with these. And then that is pretty much it with this shoe. Uh, let me give you all one more 360 and then I'll show you the other shoe. There's no really differences in the two. But just give you all a look so you all can see uh, what they both look like. And then this is the other shoe. Like I mentioned, no additional laces with these. Uh, but yeah, that's what they look like. So just quick 360 and same skull on here on the top. No differences in the two. Same laces. No additional laces once again. But overall, these, if you're interested in them, are, are actually, I think they're going for under retail, depending on what size you want on StockX. So if you're interested in them, go hit up StockX and, and go get you a pair. Just a very unique, a very different shoe from what we've gotten previously. Now, like I did mention, I did just want to get y'all's opinion on which one y'all think is better. So if you saw my last video, this is the Halloween dunk for this year. And then this is the Air Force for this year. So two different extremes, in my opinion. The red is a little more toned down compared to the green. But I think for me, I, I like the red on here. Um, I like red and black, which is probably a reason I should keep the green pair just because it gives me something a little bit different out of my normal red and black. But I think if I were to pick one, I would like the Air Force a lot better than the Dunk. But unfortunately, I didn't get these in my size. So it's just one of those things. But let me know in the comments which one y'all like better. If you like the Dunk colorway better or if you like the Air Force One colorway better. Or just over your overall thoughts on the Air Force One Halloween and what you think about the shoe. But that is all I have for y'all. Once again, hopefully y'all have a good Halloween. If you're going out, be safe. Enjoy yourself. But as always, I do appreciate y'all for stopping. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, turn on the notification bell so you can stay up to date when I post new content. And as always, I'll catch y'all in the next video.